All right, and we're back with some chart action on Nokia. And it looks like we're forming this falling wedge here sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, I would watch this line right here and maybe for a breakout there might be a little trade, but I wouldn't be so sure that it's gonna do a full reversal yet because if you look at the daily and look at that moving average, it looks like we're gonna have to be fighting that so if you kind of draw a line maybe something like here it might come up but i have a feeling it's going to get rejected something like this and then maybe come back down and kind of fight it for a little bit and then maybe break it somewhere over here hopefully this blue line right here can uh support it but yeah let's take a look at the four hour so yeah, it's fighting that one as well. So if we get through that one, maybe it will be able to pop up pretty good enough to break the daily, but I'm not 100% sure about that. The other thing I noticed is this 180 moving average on the, the four hour, it looks like it's supporting us right now. If you go to like the hourly, we're underneath the hourly on the blue and the 180. The daily is under it for sure. Where's the orange on the daily? Oh, we're actually breaking under the 180 moving average on the daily right now too, which is not good. I feel like we're going to stay in this bear market for a little bit, but we might break into this falling wedge pattern that might give us a break up. But I would still be patient and wait for this moving average to come all the way down and then it will be easier for us to break into it out of it so yeah that's what i'm thinking about nokia guys i'm still in it and i'm wondering if we break through like this line right here then i'll probably be dollar cost averaging at like 360 i'll, I'll be buying a few more shares at 360 or somewhere around there 370 but um yeah not financial advice just sharing what i kind of see going on with the chart i want to show you guys these moving averages just to there's probably going to be a pump and don't get too excited it might not last for too long it feels like we're in a bear market still but after that i think it'll take a few i think it'll take a while but i think we should i think we'll be able to break out of this and head back up but if you guys like the video hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to keep up to date but other than that you guys have a great day